morning, being able to present this, the fifth celebration of the Blavnik Awards for Young Scientists in the United Kingdom. It is not just an honor, it is a pleasure. As the achievements of our laureates and finalists demonstrate, there is excellence across all of the scientific disciplines. Their accomplishments show we have the capacity to address many challenges we face at the global community. If we have the imagination, the tools to develop new approaches, the drive to implement them, and the humility to pursue true collaborations. One of the characteristics of these awards is that they support the work of scientists who look beyond the walls of their labs and beyond geographical boundaries. And they work to solve global problems and improve life for us all. Please join me in a warm round of applause for the founder and chairman of the Blavatnik Family Foundation and our host tonight, albeit from across the pond, Sir Leonard Blavatnik. Congratulations to our first finalist in life sciences from the University of Oxford, Dr. Irene So. From the University of St. Andrews, Dr. Sonia Burns. Dr. Madeline Lancaster. The human brain is not simply an enlarged mouse brain. Our brains are also several orders of magnitude more complex. That means that not only are there more cells, but that those cells have many more connections, and those connections create much more elaborate networks. Can we study and truly understand a condition like schizophrenia, marked by hallucinations like hearing speaking voices and delusional behavior in a mouse? The answer is we can't, not completely at least. So scientists need human models as well models that can start to reveal details that are specific to us. So I created a model. They aren't an organ because they're not a fully formed human brain. Instead, they're organoids, mini models of the brain. Congratulations to our first finalist in physical sciences and engineering from the University of Manchester, Professor Sarah Haig. <laughs> Professor Anna Schmidt. Professor Matt Brooks is unable to be here this evening due to certain pesky virus. Good evening, everyone. Um, I was very much looking forward to spending what I'm sure will be a wonderful evening with you all. Um, however, unfortunately, um, COVID had other plans. Human brain health is, I think, one of the biggest challenges for 21st century science. We have a new technology which can image brain activity with higher sensitivity and better spatial resolution than the current state of the art. It can adapt to children, it allows patients to move freely and it's even lower cost. And all of that made possible by understanding the fundamental quantum mechanics of an atom. Congratulations to our first finalist in chemistry and from the University of Cambridge, Professor Gonzalo Bernardes. <laughs> the University of Edinburgh, Dr. Stephen Thomas. Before I introduce to you the third and final laureates, I would like to welcome to the stage last year's chemistry laureate who was unable to attend the 2021 ceremony due to, I don't even have to say, welcome to the stage, Professor Daniel Leonard. Please welcome to the stage, Dr. Kim Jones.
Currently, the time frame to find new materials is at least 15 to 20 years, and we need this process to be quicker. We're facing global challenges, such as resource scarcity and climate change. New materials could provide us with an efficient way to generate renewable energy or to produce clean water efficiently. One part of our work has been to develop open source software that can automate the assembly and testing of materials. Here is an example of a short piece of computer code that would automate building and testing the porous molecule shown on the right. Due to the enormous number of possible materials, even on a computer, we cannot test them all. So we have included an evolutionary algorithm within our software to help us find new materials efficiently. Friends and colleagues, here to the exceptional 2022 Blavatnik Awards for science, young scientists and finalists and laureates, and also to science. Cheers.